Hello everybody, welcome to hole number 6, a par 4 of the old bridge park for the upcoming spring major tournament here in Golf Clash the game. We're playing from the second tee, which is pro and expert division. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get ultimate tournament guides for pro expert and master by going to patreon.com slash golfclash tom. You do have a link directly in the description down below. Hole number 6. Honestly though, this is probably one of the tougher par 4s that we do have in the game. And the reason for that is not that it's a funny looking course or whatever. It's because it's so long and you have like so much water and you can't get yourself over the water regardless what top spin boost you're use top spin boost ball you're using. So either you lay up on the right or you lay up on the left. When it comes to uh, laying up um I do prefer the left side because it gives you a a simpler way to in somewhat attack the pin for an eagle if the wind allows on the second shot because on the right side we do have a bunch of trees that is in your face and if you're not far up enough like meaning very close to the rough line then you will have the trees in your face and that's not going to be a possibility to get around if you don't have a lot of side spin and then we come to the different problem that we don't have a lot of side spin on power five balls nowadays or not nowadays but we do have max side spin three and that side spin three is going to be a massive stretch if you're not very close to the rough line. So medium distance plus 10. I'm using 5.8 top spin to right spin just to adapt for lower level apocalypse clubs as well. I'm using a decent amount of the curl, which is approximately 1.8 to 2 balls of curl to the right. And the goal is to get the ball as far down the fairway possible. Unfortunately, I do hit a great left. The perfect would have been better than I would have been closer. But now we do have an open shot. We can decide here either we use the rough pump to just bounce ourselves down to the green to take a simple birdie. Or we are going to try our best to attack the pin with a rough bump, giving ourselves a chance for the eagle. Because you see the... the the bunkers there those bunkers is definitely there to even make to make it even more difficult for us because let's let's pretend like this that we do have wind coming right to left of t right if we do have that then we do have a direct headwind in the, yeah we'd have a headwind in our face on the second shot and then we're going to have to use the fairway pad that is before all this big rough and try to bounce the ball to green but then the problem is that we're going to have to have our second bounce very close to one of the two bunkers on our side and that's going to be a difficult thing as well. And then we all of a sudden are kind of flirting with not even getting a birdie. So I'm adjusting max minus 10%. I'm uh, using a little bit of overpower as I needed that little overpower to actually land to where I wanted to be. A perfect ball would have been close, but I would say that this par 4 is definitely going to be, if not the toughest. Yeah, I would say to get it with hole number 9 is going to definitely be the toughest hole to drop of the old bridge park um, in the tournament or in tour play for that matter. Thank you so much everybody for watching and a massive good luck in your golf clash game.